your day Let's go to the bay And get a death by hook I'm taking the boat to the pier I got no fear, I'm living it up I'm filling it up I got a bucket of fish, death by hook Cast still feels away Let's go fish all day Let's go to the bay And get a death by hook I'm taking the boat to the pier I got no fear, I'm living it up I'm filling it up I got a bucket of fish, death by hook You're watching Death by Hook. Talk your fears away. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Robert Munoz here. Welcome to my channel, Death by Hook. Um, today we are going to be shooting this crawdad. I uh, a lot of my friends up here at Pine Flat and uh, some of these other lakes here in California are catching bigger bass on crawdads, and I ran out. So I'm gonna shoot a couple today and stock up on inventory. So uh, follow me along and uh, we'll make some, some crawdads. All right, so today, this is our mold here. It's a two cavity aluminum mold. This is gonna be our crawdad, I don't know if you can see that. It's a pretty big craw, but um, you know, you can use this in all different types. Sometimes I cut it in half and just throw the craws out there and sometimes I use the whole thing. But this is definitely a big bass bait. So today I wanted to mix a couple different colors. So uh, let's do some research on some crawdads and see what we can come up with. All right, so what I did was I typed up crawdads. And I mean, here we got some uh, black and red. We have, uh, I don't know, some green and pink. Let's see what else we have. We have some uh, all white, some albino, which we don't really see around here. And I mean, I've even seen the blue ones. Here we go. Here's some blue ones. And I mean, man, wow, look at this one. This one's got, you know, some purple, some green, and that's about it. So we're gonna do a couple things here. I'm going to try to just make maybe like, I don't know, strictly solid colors first. So I'm gonna go ahead and make, you know, just enough for like a black one or a red one. And, and then we'll go from there. So we're gonna try to make our red and our black first. So we're gonna try a little bit of black and um, a real red. And then I got a block that will infuse them both and we'll see what we get. All right, stay tuned. All right, so we got some dead on plastic here. This is uh, the swim bait edition. So we're gonna go ahead and pour up. Um, let's just do a full cup. We'll do a full cup. Now, yeah, you know what? We'll do three quarters of a cup. There we go. So we're gonna do two of these. One red and one black. There we go. So we're gonna put both of these in the microwave and then we're gonna come up with our colors. Like I said, I got some black color in here, which I might add a little bit of silver or gold to. I think I'm gonna add some gold to this, but uh, yeah, we'll probably add some gold. Cause I don't know if you noticed, but those crawdads have like a little bit of a blackish gold in them. And we'll do a little bit of black flake in the red. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit of red flake in the black, just to give it a little bit of shimmer. So we're gonna put these in for about, I don't know, four minutes. And we're gonna try to get the desired temperature, which is anywhere from 320 degrees to uh, 
360 is kind of where I like to be. So let's go ahead and put these in. not really ready but we're gonna go ahead and try to mix up our let's do our red first so we're gonna be using some MF non bleed red and I mean I, I guess you want it pretty red so we're gonna go three four five six seven eight that's about eight drops there We'll go ahead and mix that up and see what that looks like. Ooh, that's pretty red. But as you can see, it's still kind of transparent and I want it a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more red to that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try some, let's try about that. So there we go. It's about mm, it still looks a little transparent. I think I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more. Like I said, I just want it to be a little bit thicker. There we go. And um, I'm going to throw some black flakes in there. Just for fun. These are bigger black flakes. So I'm going to go ahead and just get about a quarter like that. We'll use that. I mean, we could probably achieve the same results that I want with more flake and just red, really. Just red and black flake, and we could probably get pretty close to what I'm trying to achieve here. There we go. So now we got some red and black flake. So that's our red. So red, black flake. So on this side we want to do, um, looks like I'm missing one of my stir knives. There we go. So on this side, I don't want it all the way black. So we're going to just drop maybe, I'm just gonna do that, like three drops. Let's see what that gets us. Looks like this stuff kind of set up on us. So it's probably not gonna mix as well as it should. Should probably heat it up. Throw it back in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Bit. So let's see if we can get the black we're looking for. So I kind of, like I said, I don't want it to go too dark. 
but I don't want it to be transparent either because I don't want the red to dominate the black. So we'll put a little bit more. Just that might have been too much, but we'll stir it in and see what we got. Actually, that's more where I want to be. All right. And for this, I want to throw a little bit of red flake. So this is going to be Lureworks 0.15 Red Flake. And I'm just going to take maybe about half a quarter of a spoon. And I'm going to dump in there and like that. And we're going to go ahead and mix this up. Kind of happy with that. All right. There we go. So I'm cool with this. So we're going to put these back in here and try to get them the right temperature. So we'll put them in for a minute. We'll try to get them both about 340 degrees. We'll go from there. We'll get our mold ready. It's cold, we haven't shot it yet. So we're gonna go ahead and drop as many clamps as we can. Because for some reason, this mold always seems to flash just a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and get our clamps here and just make sure that we got everything covered. We just want to make sure that we can get this in there, which we can. <laughs> so we're going to try to make some room, maybe something like that. So for this, as you can see, this is a triple injector block. I don't have a dual injector, so I'm going to close off one of these and I'm going to use the double injector in these two here to get our split. So we're going to mix our red up. It's only at 290, so that's not good. Need to be up a little bit higher than that. And I bet your black is hotter than that. 311, not too bad. So we'll put it in for another minute. It's very important to get the right temperature when you're making these. Like I said, I'm still, still learning, so we'll see. I want to make sure that this is going to be, I'm not going to have any issues here, but, uh, and then, so this is our dual injector, that's usually a, a triple injector, but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just put it in there like that, and then we're going to put it down. So 
So let's see what we have. Ooh, that's hot. And that's not. Hmm. So we're going to do that. 340. this 340 so we're about where we want to be we want them both to be around the same temperature before we shoot all right here goes nothing guys we're gonna slowly drop pressure here it looks like it's not going to work because I didn't plug up that edge very well. <clears throat> so we're going to let that cure out a little bit. Now we're going to try to reshoot. That's the problem when you're using modified equipment. You get stuff like that that happens. So we'll wait for everything to set up, and then we'll revisit this. So we're going to have to take all this apart. We'll see how far we got with this one. Probably not far at all, because... Oh, we almost got one. <laughs> so even with our mishap, we still we still got one, which is still hot. So I don't want to move it. Let's let it cure out. So this is this is what it looks like. This is your sprue, and this is your body, and um came out pretty good i'm actually pretty happy with that even though we kind of screwed up so we'll pull that one out and we'll get another one but we gotta wait for this stuff to harden up first like i said man that's a big crawdad this is probably the biggest crawdad i've ever thrown but it catches big fish. All right, so this is what our inside of our triple looks like. So the issue that we had here was this wasn't plugged up enough. So it bled over and it was coming out the top with the more pressure I applied. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these out. We're going to cut this off to here and we're going to leave that plugged up. All right, we're ready to go again. It just came out. Let's see if we can make it happen this time. We're going to apply some light pressure. And then I'm going to pick it up. And move over. This is our second cavity. Light pressure. And then we're going to pick it up. Then we're going to top these sprues off. And then we're going to pour our plastic back into these. There we go. So 
So we'll put these back in here so they can stay warm. And then we'll see how these came out. All right, let's see what we have. Let's pop off our clamps. We'll set them back here. And uh, hopefully we have two full crawdad cavities. And we do, but looks like the one on the left side had um, a little bit more flashing than the other side. So maybe I applied too much pressure on this side. This one came out pretty good. Um, the whisker didn't come out all the way to the top. Maybe I need to adjust my temperatures a little bit, run it a little bit hotter. Um, I don't know yet, but this is easy to take care of. I mean, I could, I could cut this off right now, just like that. And my crawl will be perfect before I pull it out. And I have a, a little exacto knife that I can use also. How about I just use that? I'm gonna go ahead and just carve around a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this flashing off right now. The stuff that I can for the moment. Oh, I got a little bit around this claw too. Maybe I was applying too much pressure. Anyway, this is what we're looking at. So these are our craws. Um, I might try flipping the mold the other side and see if I can get more black on the back end, but still looks pretty good. I'm happy with the results. Like I said, this one had a little bit of flashing, but I mean, check that out, man. Those colors look pretty good. And we'll let those cure out. All right, let's get ready for our next pour. So we'll close this thing out. All right, let's do this again. All right, we'll let that dry for about 10 minutes and then we'll check it out. All right, let's see what they look like. Still warm. Cool, no flashing on this one. 
So I think that's what it was. So that's what this one looks like. Not bad. Not bad at all. air bubbles. All right, let's open these up and let's see what they look like. This one for fun. I knew I didn't have enough for another, um, Crawl. So what I did was I poured some robo worms. Let's see what happened. Let's open those up first. The cavity was cold, so should be ready to go. Ooh, my bad. This was not my robo worms. This was my Cinco mold, and this is what I got. It's actually my core shot Cinco mold. And this is what came out. Which is super cool. Wow. So I don't know if you could see those. But that's what they came out like. Black on top, red on bottom. Pretty cool. That's a nice little surprise there. Um, I'm actually really surprised. They were awesome. All right, let's check out our craws and let's see how those came out. So they came out the same. They looked really good. Really happy with these.
All right, guys. So these are the Cinco's that we poured. Which look really good. Um, these are the Cross. They're all a little bit different, but they all do the job. So looks pretty good. All right, guys. So um, today we made red and black crawls. Like I said, I I don't have any more crawdads, so I had a. I'm gonna go fishing Friday afternoon, and I need to have a couple crawdads. I think I'll make another video next time, and maybe we'll do like some green pumpkin ones. Um, those seem to be, you know, those seem to be hitters also around this time of year. So, uh, if you like the video, hit a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Robert Munoz. Thanks for watching my channel, Death by Hook. See you next time. Let's go fish all day. Let's go to the bay and get a death by hook. I'm taking the boat to the pier. I got no fear. I'm living it up. I'm filling it up. I got a bucket of fish. Death by hook. Cast your fears away. Let's go fish all day.